Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, I'm doing today painting over a pre-used canvas. I've been asked that question so many times that I thought, well, just do it in front of you. I have painted over pre-used canvases before. And you know, I get mixed results. Sometimes they work perfectly and don't crack and then other times they crack so i am not sure if it's to do with the paint consistency or how dry the paint is underneath i usually only paint over a canvas that's um like this that's been fully dried and cured for weeks but i guess if you tried to paint over a canvas that was a little bit damp then you definitely would get the cracking of putting the other paint on top so I just wanted to pre-use this can uh, pre-use I uh, reuse this canvas to do um, something in patriotic colors so red white and blue are patriotic colors to Australia to the United States and to United Kingdom so um, I guess that you know it's a shout out to all of us to um, our great countries there is plenty of other great countries out there and i guess i will have be having a look at the flag colors of other countries so i can do the colors in other countries too colors of their flag i'm not doing a flag so um i'm just what i'm doing today is puddle pouring is a puddle pour and then a blowout and seeing if i can get a a complete blowout of a, a kind of a flower -y looking thing but just with ordinary my ordinary um, paints which are the global impasto paints mixed with the pouring medium that I've got listed underneath this video in the drop down box and then uh, the last bit of paint that I put on top which is this one is my uh, pre-made up um, it's Amsterdam white with Floetrol in it just you know just more than likely to help me with a really lacy selly look so i will let you um watch as this progresses and uh, see what you think so it is a test Wow, look at those gorgeous cells that I got in that, really lacy cells, just by, there's no special um, recipe or anything. It's um, certainly easy enough for anybody to do. If I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can too. And it blew out beautifully in those patriotic colours. So, um, yeah, definitely think that I'm onto a little idea that I would like to do other countries' colours in a or two so i'll be checking on the flags colors of other countries to do um pause in in those in the coming weeks i guess would be something different for me to do so if you have got a country that's got certain colors that you would like to see me do a pour in um please let me know in the description well in the uh, comments box below that would be interesting so and I'll keep the colours noted and um, try and do 
a few pours of um, patriotic pours, I'll call them. So there you go. But I had so much fun just fiddling with this, doing those little um, skewers, swizzles out and the curly middle. But of course, you know, nothing ever looks quite finished with me without my um, next embellishment. So next little embellishment, that flow trial added some lovely lace and now for one balloon kiss in the centre. I thought that finished it off quite nicely, look at that, it brought up those lovely patriotic colours again, I'm happy with it, happy Jane, so you know, it is what it is, I'm happy with it. And I'd love to do some in your country's colours. So if uh, your country is not red, white and blue, let me know and we'll see what we can do in the coming weeks. So thank you all for joining me. Take care, you lovely people. Until tomorrow, I will say bye for now.